Ashes, my first album, had, you know, it had a vibe and it, I feel like it worked as an album, but um, I feel like it didn't have like a general theme that ran through the entire album. Um, and I'm pretty stoked on how Awake turned out with kind of telling that story. It kind of starts sad, it starts like uh, in a place of loss and it kind of comes out in a place of hope. And I think it's kind of that awakening of some people have, whether it's a breakup or just a, um, you know, that's probably the easiest relatable thing, but there can be a lot of deeper things like, you know, whether someone's having, you know, a loss, going through a loss or going through any sort of major, um, you know, personal struggles, there's an awakening that kind of happens. And that's kind of the story that I wanted to tell. You gave up. My process varies a lot. A lot of times I'll just start with like a very simple intro. I always start with an intro. That's that's guaranteed. Like I, I want to try to be sucked into a song no matter what it is at the first, um, you know, within the first few seconds. And whether that's like a guitar riff or a super nice sounding piano or a sweet vocal from the start, I think that's what varies is, is the style. But I definitely generally start with uh, an instrumental aspect and then you know figure out vocal melodies that will work over it or I'll start with a vocal and build an intro around it. It kind of depends honestly. I never start with a drop though. <laughs> This album is a lot of the inspiration is just traveling and, and being, you know, like I got to go to Hawaii and, and make music in Hawaii and like that was a crazy awesome experience and um, you know living in Denver always coming home to Denver is a very refreshing um, and I think that's why this album sounds very organic and very like warm almost it's like a kind of feeling of home to an, to a sense with me but yeah I, I all over the place everything is inspiration really. I don't really write music about like partying or like, you know, I'm not trying to make a radio hit that is gonna like be in all the frat houses and stuff. I kind of just want to make music that I can relate with and that tell like, you know, that has part of my story in it so that I can be at a personal level with it. Um, because, you know, making music is vulnerable, listening to music is vulnerable. <laughs> I'm very excited for it. It's probably, it's definitely the most challenging process I've been a part of in my music career. Um, just taking pretty much everything from my album and making it playable live. We've got like a bunch of huge drums, like uh, these taiko drums. We have some drummers, we have some like marching snares and and cymbals. And then I have my whole, I'm not using just like my SP, my, my drum pad anymore. I kind of spread it out in my booth and it's a lot, it's a production, it's like a show. And so I'm trying, and I'm getting rid of the CDJs, I'm not, I'm just doing a full live show. And so, um, yeah, I couldn't be more stoked, honestly.